All right, you guys, I am really excited about today's call. We get to hear from Diana Boyer. She is a newer coach of two months in the business. Two months. She came home like from her LBS mission and signed up like what the next day that day. I mean, yeah, it was like quick. She knew she wanted to do this. And I love it because I know she's been talking to Brittany. Brittany's her sister about doing this like throughout her mission. So I don't know. I've been excited waiting for her to sign up. And this is really exciting. So she's going to talk to us today about the mentality of a CEO. Um, I'm just going to turn it over to her and let her share what she has for us. Okay. So um, I looked up the definition of a CEO. And so a CEO is someone who makes all the decisions and has responsibility for the company. And so us being our CEOs is not us waiting around being told what to do. Um, and so this was a really good thing for me to work on because I've never been the kind of person to go out and do. Like I wanted to play basketball. I wanted to play volleyball. I wanted to do all of these things, but I never, I, I expected someone to hold my hand and, and tell me exactly how to do it. Um, I didn't have a lot of confidence growing up. So when I, when I imagined these things, I would think I want to be an athlete, but I was too scared to try because I knew that I looked silly and I knew that I wasn't coordinated. And so I just thought about those things. And so nothing ever changed because I didn't do anything. Um, so we just have to take control of what we want. We know what we want. We know we want to hit success club and we know exactly what is going to get us there. It's doing our vital behaviors. And um, we don't have someone there all day, every day telling us to, to do our vital behaviors. You know, we're accountable to ourselves. So in preparation for this, I searched on YouTube. Um, originally, they told me um, the topic was like, don't think, do. So that kind of goes together with being your own CEO. So I typed in that expecting like some, some good videos, but I got um, videos of people jumping on scooters and bungee jumping and an Asian lady's song. But um, my favorite was Jerry Seinfeld. He was talking to this man. I don't know his name. I know that he's famous, but he has curly hair and glasses. And the man was telling Jerry Seinfeld, that he wanted, I can't remember what he said he wanted, but he said, I want someday to do this. I want someday to be happy in my life. And Jerry said, you know what? Decide now that you want to be happy. Decide now that you want this to happen. And the man said, I can't just do that. And then Jerry responded with a quote from um, Seinfeld that didn't actually make it onto the show. But um, I don't remember her name. It was something Silverman, but she said, that every time she hears someone say, I'm thinking about, she'll say, you're never going to do it. You're never going to do it if you're just thinking about it. And so that, that really stood out to me because, you know, you're just sitting there thinking and planning. And it's important for us to have a plan so that we're not scattered and everywhere. But it's more important to get out there and do it <clears throat> than to have the perfect plan. We can learn as we go. Um, when we toured corporate over the weekend, um, our the black man, I don't remember his name, but he was talking about <laughs> the law of diminishing effect and how, you know, we, you know, you leave the call or you leave some kind of training and you are hyped up, you are ready to get to work. And then you make all these plans, but the more you put it off, the less likely you are to do it. And um, sorry, lost my train of thought. So the more you put it off, the less likely you are to do it. And so it's good to make a plan. It's good to be organized. But you just have to carry out with the plan. Oh. What just happened? Sorry. Um, 
Okay, so I'm here. So the more I put things off, the more, the less likely we will be to to do it. And so this is something that I've um, I've definitely struggled with. And so this is kind of fun to to learn how to get over it. But I always wanted to. I wanted to be a band director when I was little. I I loved band and I wanted to to be big, right? But then I found out how much school it took and I found out how much hard work it was. And you know, it kind of turned me off from that. But you know, we have these goals because we like you know, we we want it. And sometimes it's it's hard to to get to what we want, but it's so much more worth it to work for something that we want than to just settle for something that we don't want. So um, I I listened to um, a call yesterday from Michaela, and she was talking about how she would. She had a really hard time inviting, and so she just made sure that that was the first thing that she did, so she didn't have time to talk herself out of it later, because, you know, thoughts creep in, and, you know, you, you think of every reason why you shouldn't do it, um, hence the law of diminishing effect. And so, I mean, today, I took her advice, and like the first thing I did this morning was I, I messaged my people and honestly that didn't work for me because <laughs> I had already had a schedule set out. I, um, it kind of made my schedule confused. And so I think it doesn't matter when you do what, as long as you make the time to do it. Um, like I have my time to invite, I have my time to work out and you know, we just have to decide and do it. Nothing has to be perfect. We just have to get it done, and then eventually things can kind of turn out better. But, um, I, oh yeah, that was the other thing. Something that, um, I was reading this story, and it, it doesn't matter what the story was, but when you decide to do something and you act on it, then you see the fruits, and then you're more confident the next time. And so each time you, you invite and you you. Like I've I've had a lot of experiences where I've I've messaged someone on Facebook and I'm expecting them not to answer me and then I'm really surprised when they actually answer and not only do they answer but they care about me and then it's it's exciting and then it makes me want to make more friends and and continue to reconnect with these people that I haven't talked to in years and so the more we do it the more we'll see the results and the more we will feel successful and the more people that we will have to talk to and to um, to share this awesome thing that we have with them. Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of about it. Just you know what you need to do, and so just do it, and don't waste time thinking about it. I love it. So good. So good. First call. Whoop. Done. Um, uh, I love it because it, it's true. It's like you don't, you can't just think about it. How many times I am that person? Um, I'll sit around and organize my. I can't work because my office it needs to be organized, right? And it's got to have all of these. Like I used to be that way, and so I'd spend hours organizing my office, but I wasn't doing any of the business building behaviors. Or um, I scrolling Pinterest because that wasn't a behavior I needed to do, but I had to find the perfect quote to go with the perfect thing. 
So I think, yeah, you're done. You just have to, to just do it and not worry about what the outcome's going to be. It's kind of like what Brittany always says. It takes, what, five seconds of courage, which they mentioned at corporate, too. Um, it takes five seconds of courage to do something. So you just, just do it. Done is better than not done. Um, and you'll learn from that, even if it wasn't perfect. Um, for newer coaches, you may be worried about your posts. that They might not be perfect. We all started somewhere, and you, when you look back, you'll see how much you've grown from your posts. But you don't want to look back two years from now and be like, I didn't post anything that day because I, you know, I just didn't didn't have it perfect. Okay, so that was perfect. I love it. Um, do you want to post that video of the Jerry Seinfeld? Do you have the link for that? Would you share that in the team? Page? I will look for it. I went when I went back to look at it again. I couldn't find it, but I'll I'll try to find it again. Okay, perfect. Does anyone have any questions about the mentality, about don't think, just do? Anybody? No? Okay. Well, I want to thank Diana for taking time out of her crazy uh, schedule. She just, what, you just barely started your semester? Yeah. Yeah. My second week. Yeah. She's rocking it. Building her business, going to school. So, uh, yeah. Well, everyone have a great day. I will post the recording for this and we'll see you in the team page.